Welcome to KP Tarot. KP Tarot. Bounce it, beginning, bounce it, beginning, bounce it, beginning, bounce it. A bounce it, beginning, bounce it, beginning, bounce it. Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome to KP Tarot. How y'all doing? I'm burning this sage for y'all. See how everybody is doing. Hope everything is going well with y'all. You know, I got to clean this energy, baby. Burn. Let me uh, sage you. Let me sage you. You might need some of this sage, okay? Babe, I try to abide by YouTube rules and try to do all that, not cussing and all that. Babe, I got to be myself on here. So, I'm going to do a collector read for y'all. And, um, if you know, if the reading resonates with y'all, you know, like, share, subscribe, you know, hit your girl up. But we're going to start off with these, uh, with these love messages. We're going to start off with these love messages. I got some new cards. I got a lot of new cards. So, we're going to start off with these right here, the love messages. And see what your person want to say to y'all. See what's going on to y'all. What's the energy around my collective? I want to see what the energy is around y'all. Okay? Yeah, I want to see what the energy is around my collectives. What they need to know. What is the energy around my collectives? What they need to know. Let me scoot up some. What's the energy around my collectives? What y'all need to know. We're using the love um oracles. Love message oracles, okay? These some new cards just came in. I got a whole bunch of them for y'all. So Oh, they all fell. Y'all got some stuff going on. I can't pause this some kind of way. What am I doing? Well, I ain't gonna pause, I just can't pause this song. Y'all give me a minute. Let me get these cards right here. I'll be right back. Ugh. Let me get these cards. Wow. Somebody don't want me to get these love messages off of y'all. Baby, all the cards here fell. Sure did. Had to get these cards for my collectors. Baby, I want to play by my by my collectors, by my by my by my friends. Baby, I had to go get them cards. <laughs> oh, sure did. Okay, let's try this again, y'all. Let me make sure all these cards are straight. All right. Let's start over. What my collectors need to know. Let's see what my collectors need to know. Let's see. Inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. Okay? So someone think y'all is really inseparable, y'all. It don't matter if y'all go far away, y'all depart, y'all separate. They always going to have unconditional love for you. They will always love you, okay? That love is always going to be there. Nobody can't break that bond. It's a true match. Let's see what else? Neglected. I failed to give you what you need. So somebody think they failed you. Or somebody, one of your person, you can feel neglected. They can feel neglected that they failed to give you what you needed. Okay? What's the next one? Indecisive. So your person probably be indecisive about your relationship. They probably going back and forth. They don't know who to choose or who to pick or whatever. So they're indecisive right now. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. So somebody like y'all probably had was rushing somebody. So to make a decision, they're indecisive right now. They don't know what to do. New chapter. Ooh, look at the fireworks, baby. Yes. I am trying to move on. So somebody in y'all life, they trying to move on. They ready to start a new chapter in their life with y'all, okay? They know that it's, um, you know, it was a problem of them making a decision that, you know, it hurts you because they ain't make a decision and they know that. So they just, they trying their best, but they do want a new chapter with y'all, okay? 
I am trying to move on. So if they was with someone else, they trying to move on. Okay. We'll get one more. Reunion. Oh, somebody going going through a reunion, y'all. We will always come back to each other. Oh, so somebody want a reunion with y'all. They always going to come back to you no matter what. Y'all love is always there despite the distance, baby. They always coming back. Reunion. First, they was indecisive about you, but they not indecisive about you no more. They ready to move on and take this to a new start. They ready to do this new chapter with you. They will always come back. Y'all will always come back to each other. Reveal. So you or your person, one of y'all want to reveal something to one another. I see a church here. I want to tell you the truth. So somebody want to tell you the truth in the church. Or somebody just want to reveal something to y'all. They were just hiding something from you. So they ready to tell you the truth about it. Broken. So if someone, you or your person is feeling this way, somebody feel broken, okay? They feel shattered about this situation. So if something that happened or went on, they feel broken. They feel shattered about this situation. It's something they probably could have caused. They could have broke y'all relationship up or something like that. But they feel bad about what they did. They know they missed. They know they fucked up. So they can't come back for it, baby. You moving on with a new chapter, baby. A reunion coming on. They made you feel neglected. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what else is going on for y'all. Let me see what else. Ooh, them came out. Holding back. I should have expressed myself better. So somebody is holding themselves back from y'all. You or your person is holding themselves back. They think they should express themselves better to you. Absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. So, baby, if just something happens, something, something happens. Somebody feel absent in your life. They, they missing you. They feel like a part of like you the what is the uh, puzzle piece. You the missing puzzle piece in their life. They want you back. But somebody's holding back from it. Uh-uh. Detachment. It's your next card. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. So somebody had to detach from the situation. You or your person had to detach. They had to let it go because they had to clear their mind. It was stressing them out. They probably had to end up going to yoga or something like that. They had to do something to relieve their mind. It's repeating again. Reveal came out again, y'all. I want to tell you the truth. So they so they want to tell you the truth. I don't know what they want to reveal to you or your person. Somebody want to tell somebody the truth. And at the bottom of the deck, mend. I want to fix our connection. Oh, that's so sweet. So if anybody was feeling broken heart or broke heart, they want to mend the relationship. Y'all see the heart in the middle right here? Y'all see, look, it's coming back together. They miss you. You the missing piece in their life. That's what they need. They need you in their life. They want to fix y'all connection. They love you no matter what. Despite y'all is irreplaceable. Y'all is, y'all is un, unmatched to anybody. They love you. Okay. We're going to go to, uh, some more we're gonna do this one Let's see what else look at all these cards we're gonna see what come out for y'all what my collectives need to know what my collectives need to know what's the energy around my collectives what they need to know let's see childhood trauma so somebody is going through childhood trauma or been through childhood trauma. They need to heal childhood trauma that's bringing in y'all relationship. Childhood trauma is ruining y'all relationship. So somebody needs to heal their inner child. Their inner child needs to be healed. I am obsessed with you. So somebody is obsessed with y'all. They really digging you. They feeling you. They watching you. They lurking. They stalking you and everything. They could be obsessed with your sex, obsessed with your um, communication, obsessed with the way you drink. I, well, I, that, I don't know why I said it with the way you drink. That's crazy. Yeah, they probably can be obsessed with the way you drink, the way you dress, the way you look, and everything. Everything about you turn, you turn them on. They are very much obsessed with you. I am scared 
I am scared of rejection. So someone, you or your person, somebody is scared of rejection. They think that uh, if they come to you and tell you how they feel and you probably done moved on or whatever, they scared that you're going to reject them. So they scared of rejection. That's where that childhood trauma come in there because they might got rejected so much as a child and it's childhood trauma. So that's why they scared of rejection. Okay. They have hurt me. They have hurt me. So somebody think that y'all hurt him, you or your person. I right, that card ain't never came out before. How could you ever forgive the mess I've made? Somebody somebody think that they made a big mess and they asking for your forgiveness. They want the forgiveness. But they know it's a it's a big mess that they made. They screwed up really, really bad. So they don't know if they can come back from this or not, child. The way I have treated you was wrong. Somebody, so somebody treated you very wrong and they know it was wrong how it was. But that's why I say, uh, that's why they scared of rejection because they know they treated you wrong and they are trying to come back. But no, you had me. When you had me, you did not treat me right. So yeah, you treated me wrong. And they knew it was wrong. And they, I think they, they want to apologize too. But hey, it's up to y'all to accept the apology to take them back. But look like somebody from y'all past. So if y'all want to take them back, y'all can. It's up to y'all. Y'all got to make your own decision of what you want to do to your life to better your life, okay? Why can't I tell you the truth? So somebody is hiding something. Somebody is keeping a secret, okay? They, wanna, they really want to tell you something, but they don't know how to tell you. So... They really, really do want to tell you the truth. Probably tell you the truth by their feelings or how they really feel. That's why the person is obsessed with y'all, but they don't know. They can't put it into words to make it come out. They scared. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. So somebody think that y'all is being really, really too, too, too nice. They know they don't deserve your kindness. You know why? Because they didn't treat you right, right here. The way I had treated you was wrong. So they know that it was wrong the way they treated you. And they know they don't deserve your kindness because they didn't treat you right. But you still are being nice to them anyway. You still showing them unconditional love because well, why? Because you love them and your heart is not like that. You weren't raised like that. Okay, so we're going to go to some old cards. Go to my new deck, y'all, because let's see. Let me see which one I want to do. Let me see. Let's see with the harmony deck. I got the harmony deck. Let's see. It would be so hard to open up these new cards. Let me see. I'll get it up out of here. The harmony deck. Oh, these cards are beautiful. What my collection is going on? What's the, what's the energy around them? Yeah, these are really cool. What's the energy around them? Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody went from the eight to the seven. The six of Pentacles. Ooh, all this money. The five of Pentacles. Why is all this money? And the four of Pentacles. I see nothing but growth and prosperity, y'all. Somebody also can be losing money with the five of Pentacles here. But I also see with the Eight of Pentacles, somebody is gaining buku money. I don't know who it is. Somebody's credit score must be going up. Somebody must be getting a loan. Somebody must be getting an inheritance or something. Somebody is giving somebody a gift of money or something. Or somebody just won the lottery. But yeah, somebody is, um, I see nothing but money here. Nothing but money. We're going to clarify it, though. We're going to see the Queen of Cups and Justice. Ooh, wee. So the Queen of Cups is receiving justice, baby, with the four of wands. 
Y'all go from the four of pentacles. You go from the four of pentacles to the eight of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, y'all gonna be receiving justice in y'all money, y'all financial situations. I see here. Y'all is gonna be happy with family. I see family celebrations here with the four of ones here. I can see that um yeah, somebody maybe was going through a hard time in their money or whatever. Or, uh, time for giving and receiving, I see here. Somebody's going to get a whole lot. Yeah. Balance is all just as being stored to this Queen of Cups. Let me go uh, clear. Let me, let me clarify some of this. See what's going on. Yeah, clarify. It's Eight of Pentacles for the collective. What they need to know. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles for the collective. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles for the collective. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles for the collective. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. The collective. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. All right. Is Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Three of Wands? Okay. Somebody, I can see that somebody's um maybe um somebody's getting a major opportunity. Somebody's um in preparation for a major opportunity. Somebody's making plans. Somebody's putting their plans into motions. It's more opportunities that are headed your way, okay? Um, you have the chance to expand your horizons through travel. Somebody could be traveling or somebody could be going to study. Somebody could be on a business trip, okay? Reach me on your comfort zone. Doors will open if you stop limiting yourself, okay? This uh, for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I see him. Mm-hmm, clarify this three of wands. Yeah, somebody's um, for to move on to something big. Somebody for to be complete, by. Something is happening over here. It's good, though. It's a lot of money. A lot of prosperity. Ace of Cups. Oh, yeah. Cancel Scorpio Pisces. I can see that somebody's uh maybe having a new... Somebody's having a spiritual awakening, I see here. Somebody's intuition is on point. Somebody maybe getting a proposal or a marriage here. I see. I see a lot of love and compassion. Okay. Somebody need to let go of the emotional baggage that is weighing you down and start truly living your life. This is your opportunity for a fresh start or a new relationship. Okay. Whether whether or not you choose to take the cup and drink from it. Okay. Yes. And clarifying the Ace of Cups, we have here the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, new projects is starting. I see here inspiration. Somebody's gonna be creating. Somebody's on willing a lot of willpower. Okay, I see a lot of power here. I see somebody's having new beginnings and growth in their life. You or your person. Okay, I see that here. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for the collective. Tell me Um, the seven of wands. So I see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody may be going through challenges in their financial situation. See, I see here. Somebody could be going through competition. Somebody could have competition, okay? You or your person. Somebody is trying to control every aspect, but you can't control everything, okay? Y'all, um, somebody is struggling on their journey. You may have just reached an important milestone in y'all life. They're trying to knock, somebody's trying to knock you back. And uh, uh, causing you to prove yourself. You don't have to prove yourself to nobody. You hold your ground, okay, no matter what. Because you know you got this. And don't dare let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? Thank you. Yeah, you're standing up for yourself. You're holding your ground, okay? Yes, I love it. Okay, Seven of Cups here. Clarifying the Seven of Wands. Council Scorpio Pisces, okay? I see... um. Somebody may be coming out of illusion. Somebody may be going through illusion. Somebody's daydreaming a lot, okay? Somebody have opportunities. Somebody can have a lot of options going on. Somebody need to pay attention to their imagination, okay? 
Yeah. Take action, okay? Show your dreams become a reality, okay? Expect, the, expect things to manifest, okay? Evaluate your options closely and wisely before making a decision, okay? And wait for your best outcome, okay? Clarify the seven of cool. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Somebody may have a cold or maybe going through a cold. I see that here. Okay, clarifying this to a one. So I see somebody making plans. Okay, somebody's leaving their home. Somebody could be traveling. I see here somebody could be traveling to four way lands. I could see if somebody's uh, happy about this situation. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody having self discovery here. Somebody's making major decisions in their life. Okay. A reconciliation you've been with you've been here with a spark of inspiration now you must figure out how to turn that fire into action okay be sure to lay groundwork before blasting forward so that you don't stumble over your own feet okay let your intuition guide you okay tell me about this uh tell me about this six of pentacles tell me about this six of pentacles Okay, the Six of Pentacles. Oh, the Six of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. God, dear. Okay, Taurus, Vir Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn here. I see that somebody is manifesting. They, somebody is manifesting the prosperity and growth here. I can see that somebody also manifesting abundance, opportunities for themselves, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles here. I see that somebody have a new career on horizon, okay? Yeah, somebody's fit to have a new venture of prosperity in their lives. They fit to have new financial opportunities here with the Ace of Pentacles is here, okay? I see a cycle is about to begin anew. And since the Pentacles suit deals in things like materials, okay, from a new, um, yeah, in form of somebody be having a new career going on, okay? I see that here. Or something that's in vain, whatever is coming will bring you great abundance, okay? Be sure that you are prepared to harvest gifts. Just be, I can't even talk y'all. I just seen 222 on the clock, okay? 2222. Okay, make sure that y'all, it's harvest time, okay? Uh, y'all finna get ready to receive a gift, okay? A big old pinnacle fit arrive to y'all, baby. The pinnacles, baby. The pinnacles. <laughs> Tell me about this five of pinnacles for the collective. Tell me about this five of pentacles for the click. You got number money here. Buku money. That's all I see. Okay, with the five of pentacles here, clarify. You or your person, somebody could be feeling like they stuck. Somebody could be, you know, feeling like they stuck in their finances or something. Somebody could be feeling in prison to their finances. Somebody, um... Yeah, feel like they restricted and feeling isolated, okay, with the eight of wands being here. Gem uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Somebody's having very bad negative thoughts, okay? Your previous thought patterns may no longer be of use to you. Open yourself to a shift in thought because a change in perspective may be exactly what you need right now. You may be labeling yourself the victim rather than feeling sorry for yourself, okay? Take back your power and evaluate choices you have. Trust your intuitions, okay? It's time for y'all to trust y'all intuitions, okay? Y'all is not stuck here. You know what I'm saying? It's only in your thoughts. You is not restricted. You is not in prison. You is not a victim. You can't have a victim mentality, okay? You is not restricted, okay? Tell me about this four pentagon. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Seven of Pentacles here. I can see that somebody had worked really, really hard. Somebody had put in a lot of work, okay? Yeah, somebody's um, for to start receiving their rewards. Okay, somebody need to, um, perseverance is here. Okay, results. Y'all should see long-term results, okay, for y'all hard work that y'all put in, okay? You understand the value of hard work. And you investing toward long-term goals. You are not interested in quick wins. The Seven of Pentacles is telling you that look at the bigger picture. You might be frustrated that something, that some things are taking too long for to come into fruition. Your efforts will go unawarded, but you must remain positive and patient, okay? 
Tell me about this Queen of Cups. <laughs> Ooh, my nose. Itch. Every time I do a reading, my nose start messing with me and all that stuff. That's why I'm like, what is going on? Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody's receiving justice. Yeah. This Queen of Cups is looking straight at the money, babe. That's all I see. And she and she in all whites. Look at this Queen of Cups. She is so beautiful, y'all. Look. This she is beautiful, look. She in all whites with gold everywhere. Look. This is so cute. Y'all see? Look, all white with gold, baby. She's sitting in the gold chain. Everything you tell, she is abundant. She is. Yeah. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. I just seen the sun, but I ain't gonna keep going. Oh, three cards came out for the Queen of Cups, baby. The Ten of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The Lovers. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of baby, she ain't taking no mess from nobody, baby. The Queen of Cups, she ain't playing. She will have a family life. She gonna be living in bliss and harmony in her relationship. Happy, she gonna be fulfilled. Dreams coming tr true. Family contentment, okay? Yeah. I see here. This Ten of Cups. You're in an idyllic state where all your dreams, wants, and needs are being met. Look around you and take a moment to soak everything in. Be present and truly thankful for all of life's blessings. Take comfort in knowing that you are on the right path. Okay, with this Ten of Cups, you are on your right path. Okay, you is going to be having harmony, bliss in your relationships. You can have inner happiness and outer happiness, baby. Everything is, is total fulfillment. All your dreams is coming true. Family is going to be content. All of it, yes. And with the lovers being here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Love, harmony in your relationships, a union, a partnership. Y'all, maybe you and your person may be out of a partnership. Passion is going to be off the train. It's got alignment. It is The lovers is alignment. It's going to be... It just love. It's a choice. It just so much. It just deep love here. A lot of deep love. Strength of two people coming together to show they love. Okay? Yeah. This is really nice. You need to determine what is truly important to you and hold on to your beliefs. Okay? With the Queen of Swords. So justice, yeah. Somebody's gonna be getting just somebody here gonna be clear clear boundaries. Somebody's setting clear boundaries. Somebody's gonna be cold and direct with their communication because they letting everybody know, baby. Look, you is not coming up into my area and messing up what I got going on. So if you with that foolish, what you might as well do, baby. You might as well be gone. Poof. Okay, poof, be gone. Poof, 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 be gone, baby. Don't come in my life destructed. Um, you know, messing up my what I got going on. I'm focusing on this pillar because I'm focusing on this family life, happiness and stuff. And, 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 you know what I'm saying? Being mature about the situation. I'm focusing on my love of my, my children. You know what I'm saying? My whole life, my long term, my long term goals, my short term goals, my new career that I'm finna have, all this prosperity, my goals is going to be attained. Okay. Yeah. I have, you know, new inspiration, going to have new opportunities and growth, new beginnings. You heard me? Yeah. That's what y'all want. Collective all of that. Tell me about this justice. Baby, yeah, we want all of that, baby. And when we ain't playing with them. Okay, justice and the high priestess here. Okay, water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You Y'all need to listen to y'all good. Y'all need to meditate. You need to reflect. You need to turn inward and ask the answers within, okay? You are headed toward a period of growth. This is your interview is how you have sacred knowledge with this um the justice you have sacred knowledge of what's going on your subconscious mind is letting you know everything going on okay you have high morals you can trust yourself you is mystery hidden okay a hidden mystery in you you see stuff that other people can't see your spiritual energy is the divine feminine you is a divine person you is a divine feminine your intuition is is popping right now. The justice. You get justice in everything because you deserve it. You deserve this good life collective. You deserve it. It don't have to be a council called party, but yes, you deserve it. Tell me about this four ones.
So somebody's in their head. Somebody, uh, somebody feel like they they in their head over. Somebody must have got a relationship or fit to be in a relationship, a happy relationship, and fit to have everything that they want. They're going to be looking stupid. They're going to feel stupid because you messed over me. Yes. And you know what? You just keep, don't even judge them or nothing. They messed over you. Just keep on going, baby. Keep your, you know what I'm saying? Keep moving forward. Doing what you got to do, okay? Yes. Learning how to create to make your life better. What they say, turn pain into power. That's what y'all going to do, collective. Turn pain it's a power okay you're gonna be moving forward yeah somebody's having anxiety now say de depressed now because you should have treated me you treat me shit. you ain't treat me right jim and i leave aquarius yeah they have a nightmare hopeless trauma despair mm -mm, y'all don't need that in y'all life anyway no 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 yes yeah, so you're gonna be willing showing a whole bunch of strength here a whole bunch of courage here whole bunch of power you're gonna be with him yeah but yeah that this, this was a good read this was a good read baby i like this read for y'all collector y'all money is gonna be on point baby nobody ain't gonna tell you people gonna be sick with it everybody they did my collector wrong they gonna wish they ain't never did the wrong because you rising up you for the rise up you might be down now or you might not be happy but you for the get there and when you do rise, I wouldn't tell nobody you'll see me when you see me. Don't tell nobody nothing. Don't tell nobody none of your business. Keep all your business to yourself. Straight like that. Keep all your business to yourself. When you start running out there at the mouth, you knock your blessings. People don't need to know what y'all doing, what y'all got going on. You know what I'm saying? Stop talking and telling all y'all business to everybody. Nobody needs to know what you got going on. You finna get blessed by the divine. You... You you um deserve this. You deserve this, what you get. You worked hard for this. You was kind to people. People did you wrong. People spit on you. People stepped all over you for no reason. People didn't believe in you, but you kept going and kept fighting and kept striving. You know you can do it. You knew you can do it. And you did. You sure did. I'm a, um, let me see what this is. We're going to try, um, oh, yeah, I'm going to do these so true. Let's see what this is. I like these. This is another little deck. It's cute. Yeah, baby, but prosperity is on their way to y'all. Show this. Get a couple of these cards. What my collectors need to know. Just need to know. I am ready to let go of this very shame. So somebody is ready to let go, y'all. They feel shameful. It's buried, but they feel shame. The feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. When you live in shame, you live in darkness. What part of you is ready to stand in the light? Is there any shame from a past experience that is ready to be healed? Heal the shame, y'all. Heal the shame by giving it a name, okay? Bring it to the lights and let it be seen, heard, and healed. It's revive season. Replace shame with your soul's truth, okay? And you um get you like a, a blank piece of paper and write out write out what uh what your soul truth is. Oh, leave me a comment. What your soul truth is? What you think you need to do, okay? What expects what expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? So what expectations y'all have that are impossible to meet? The expectations we have are mostly delusion and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they are not met. It's time to dissolve your expectation and replace them with gratitude, okay? Be grateful. You are being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for our soul, and it is accompanied by trust, okay? It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment, okay? Do y'all understand it? Yes. One more thing, y'all, forgiveness. Who am I ready to forgive? 
So who y'all and y'all who y'all think y'all need to forgive? Y'all need to forgive somebody because y'all can move forward, okay? I am not what happened to me. I am who I chose to become. Okay? It's time to let go, y'all, and forgive and move and move onward, okay? Is your show is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and insight. Look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you learned, okay? What do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? Okay? Y'all need to write a forgiveness letter to y'all need to write a forgiveness letter to yourself and who you think that you need to forgive, okay? That's what y'all need to do. Y'all need to start a prayer to that it will that will thinking of you that thinking of you person who you are ready to forgive. Tell that person you love them. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Okay? Well, thank y'all collectors for watching my reading. If this reading resonates with y'all in any kind of way, like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment, and y'all be blessed. Okay, thank you. Bye.